Hey folks, it's uh, George Kovacs here. We're doing AIM in Montreal, our day two is part of the uh, remote and rural uh, medicine conference here. And uh, I just wanted to uh, talk to you just briefly about uh, a couple pearls of doing video laryngoscopy. So the one thing that we know about video laryngoscopy is that we're always gonna get a better view. This is a device that looks around the corner. And uh, quite often you're gonna have a view like this. And this view on the screen is great big view of the cords and glottic inlet and everybody's looking at you and saying, why can't you intubate this patient? When you actually look in and see how we're positioned here, where the blade tip is posterior to the epiglottis, it's really sitting on top of the glottic inlet. And the tube now has to really get very posterior and travel very anterior in a very small space. And this is where that two C's happens. If you look on the side, the one C of entering the mouth, and that second C is traveling down through the glottic inlet and down the, uh, the trachea. So the trick is to, to actually come back and get less of a view. And what that means is, is usually being in the uh, vollecular, vollecular with your blade tip. And if you look at the screen here, um, the glottic inlet occupies pretty well the top third of the screen. And we don't have a great view, but this is the optimal view. It's not too close. And if we look in the mouth here, again, now we've got plenty of space. Right? We can maneuver that tube, and now there's only one C that we have to, one curve that we have to maneuver. The curve that travels through the uh, oropharynx and down uh, to the trachea. So if you look along, it's just taking one curve as opposed to those two opposing curves. So the trick is not being too close. Don't be here like this with this great big view. Be back, be in the vollecula. And, uh, and have this kind of view. You're gonna have lots of room to maneuver and it's gonna be easier to place your tube. Awesome.